Sports people look to a lot of things to enhance their performance. Energy drinks, special diets, meditation, massage. But what about the benefits of chiropractic care? Well, two strong advocates are chiropractor Doug Blackburn and kickboxer Bryce Lindorf, who are here with us this morning. Sorry about that. That was quite a good start. I don't know if you can blame my <laughs> spine for my tongue being so twisted this mm. morning. <laughs> you cannot help me. Um, but athletes, you see a lot of sort of top-end athletes now. A lot of the chiropractors throughout the world are seen on top of the athletes. You know, there's chiropractors, uh, we're sending one chiropractor to the Olympic Games with the official squad. There's, I think, three in the American squad. Um, chiropractors going with the medical team. So throughout that top elite level, there's chiropractors. And we've worked from some in the past and, and present. How much of it is a, an athlete has a problem, they go to a chiropractor for help, versus just wanting to keep an eye on how well their spine is aligned and how everything is working together. I think the more educated the athletes get in because they need to perform and everything is becoming so critical at that top level, you know, it's that last 5% or even 2%, they're starting to look at things that can really enhance their performance. And so again, a lot of athletes coming to chiropractors now because they're going, hey, what can I get? What's the next 2%? Just that extra little bit. Extra bit. Bryce, you initially saw a chiropractor because you had a problem. Yes. What was that? Um, mid to lower back from a lot of the training that I do in the kickboxing mm -hmm. boxing, I, yeah. And then you discovered that there was more to it than that? It was, yeah. Well, um, it, it's now helped with everything from the training. I've got a lot more range of movement now from training to even sleeping at night. Mm. Helps with everything, yeah. You talk about that range of movement. I mean, I guess for a lot of sports people, they do have a lot of niggles, you know, a little bit of a sore shoulder here, a bit of a sore arm there. Um, and I guess, do you find you sometimes you just take it for granted, you accept that that is part of what being a, a sports person is? You do, yes, yes. Mm. Well, Doug, when that is the case, I mean, do people need to be aware that any kind of niggle could possibly be fixed? The niggles, it's a good question though, because the niggles often you hear the thing, oh, just let it go, just niggle, you know, I love that great ad, take a panel and see in the morning. Well, sometimes there are little niggles that can develop into bigger problems. And it's a case of being aware of your body and, and the, the, I guess the non-professional athlete might think, oh, I can get by with this, but it creates problems later down the track. They're easy things to check out. I mean, one of the things um, is showing people if it's related to the spinal or their body. Um, it's simply doing the muscle test. If we use Bryce here, mm -hmm. If you're holding up, if we're going to test Bryce, and Bryce is a big, strong lad, mm. hold, resist. Now, I'm sitting in a bad position, I can still overpower his arm. Now, we turn Bryce's head to the side, hold, and it's a lot stronger. So you should be able to do that? If what we're looking through there is I, sh I should not be able to push his arm down. Yet when he turns his head to the left, he's strong. When he's looking straight ahead, he's weak. So, so what does that tell us about Bryce? Tells us something in the spine. What's causing the weakness in here is not a shoulder. Right. But it's something through here, and as we turn his head, Bang, she blows out again. Right, OK, so the fact that Bryce is turning his head indicates that it is something in the spine. Uh, often, I mean, you talk about it not being in the shoulder. Often I, people, do they come to you saying, I, or, or wouldn't come to you because they assume they have a problem in their shoulder when it, in fact, is created by a problem in the spine? Absolutely. It's like the, as you walk into a house and if the light bulbs aren't working or if the microwave's not working, you're going to go look at the power source first. So the chiropractor's approach is really, let's go look at the power source, get those switches lined up in the spine, that's right, and you still got the problem. Okay, then I'll look at the light bulbs. Mm. But let's put, you know, the cart and the horse in the right order. Sure. For people who um, who, are, who think that they would like to look at a practitioner or talk to a practitioner, where do they need to go? I mean, where... Really easy way to get through that is if they go to the chiropractic website, the um, New Zealand chiropractic website, they'll find a list of chiropractors in the area. Now, there's simple things most chiropractors know. If somebody's not sure, then there's no complex. Uh, what's the word for it? There's no. Um, uh, charge type thing. Some chiropractors will just, you can go to the chiropractor and they'll do a look at check on somebody to let them know if there is a chiropractor problem. Because most of them people don't know. And sure. it's before you go down that path, at least find out find if there's out. a problem. Then. Brilliant. Bryce, made your life better? It is. <laughs> Thank you yes. very much for joining us this morning, Dr. Doug Blackburn and Bryce Lindorf.